Hi, everybody. Next up on our GMA Heat Index, Ronda Rousey. She is the first woman to join the Ultimate Fighting Championship and the number one pound for pound female mixed martial arts fighter in the world. And she's also jumping into the ring with movies, a book, and uh, empowering message for women everywhere. I have been looking forward to meeting you, Rhonda. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you for you being here. You have been extremely busy. You know, New York State is the only state that bans mixed martial arts, doesn't have a UFC here. You have spoken with Governor Cuomo this week. What have you told, what have you talked to him about? Well, MMA isn't actually banned. It's uh, professional MMA that's banned. So around, I think over 1,600 New Yorkers competed in MMA in New York this was just this last year, but only in amateur events. So there's no athletic commission to do any kind of medical testing for them, no drug testing. The women that competed had no pregnancy tests, and even the referees aren't educated. It's the most dangerous place in the U.S. to do MMA. And if anyone gets hurt, I mean, it'll be on the hands of the politicians that haven't taken steps to protect them. And there's so many, like, ridiculous arguments that MMA is somehow anti-woman. Mm. And fighting's not a man's thing, it's a human thing. To say that it's anti-woman, I think, is an anti-feminist statement. And the UFC, I mean, I'm the biggest draw in the sport, and I'm a woman. How is that anti-woman? You are the biggest draw, <laughs> and uh, like 14 seconds, as, as Charles Barkley was saying, and you're uh, setting a record, breaking your own record. But you know there are critics. You know there are people who just say, hey, for men or women, it's just a, too violent of a sport. How do you respond to that? Well, they don't really understand the sport itself and see the art in it. I mean, I'm a two-time Olympian, I'm an Olympic medalist, and when I was doing judo, the exact same things that I really apply in MMA, I was celebrated as an American hero, and somehow when mm. I, I do it for, for money and not costing me money, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a barbarian now. I mean, it's it's called martial arts for a reason. There's an art to it. It's not a brawl. It's 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 a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. and, and you have been out in front, and you have been using this platform. Uh, just recently, you were talking about how you and uh, the UFC, it's, uh, you're changing the conversation about women in pop culture. What did you mean by that? Well, the MMA is a very young sport, so it's not really stuck in tradition uh, like a lot of other ones are. And we're able to make a lot of changes that we've never seen in other sports. Just this, um, this last weekend, women were introduced walking to the octagon not as women's bantamweights. They were just bantamweights. Bantamweights? Yeah. They don't say men's bantamweight. They don't say MMMA for men's MMA. So they took all the women out of it. We're just introduced as fighters, and that's it. And this is the first sport in the world ever to do that. And you're really advancing that. And you, as I said, very busy. Yeah. We, just, we just saw the trailer for Entourage. Yeah. Uh, you are, uh, I think Turtle has a little bit of a shine when, when, when it comes to you. Tell, you, tell us about your, your role in this. Uh, yeah, me and Turtle have a little bit of a bet, and yeah. um, he pretty much has to fight me for a date. <laughs> and uh, you'll just have to watch to see how that goes for him. I don't think he'll last 14 seconds like, like your last one. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Uh, well, thank you. Um, I know you have a book out, and we're going to have you back very soon because yes. we want to talk to you much more about that. But you, uh, your, your final the world you think that you're going to get it here in the state uh, I really feel optimistic this year I have a really good feeling about it I've talked to the governor I really feel like he's in our corner and um, fingers crossed it's passed six years in a row in the Senate mm -hmm. it's never been brought to vote yet in the assembly and I think it will this year we'll see what happens hey Rhonda yeah. thank you we'll thank have you, you so back much.